Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About nine, ten days ago, Microsoft rolled out the latest version of the Power Toys Utility App version 0.62, and now, um, over the last 24 hours or so, they have recently upgraded um, version 62 to 0.62.1, and this latest point release uh, is a bug fix update for the Power Toys app. Now, um, when they did roll out version 62 um, a couple of days ago, um, as I did post on previously, there were three brand new utilities that were added to the different tools and utilities found in the app. And um, in no particular order, the first was the screen ruler, the uh, quick accent uh, utility, and the third was the text extractor. And I'll leave a link um, in the description to that video in case you missed that one, as it will just give you some more information regarding those new tools. Now, uh, Microsoft um, has said that they have fixed some bugs with this latest point release update for Power Toys. Um, they deemed important for stability of version 62 since it did roll out previously. Now, um, just to go through those quickly, um, there was an issue that was causing a bug report to not be generated for some users. That's been addressed. And then Quick Accent, which um, is one of the new tools that did roll out, um, was causing the keyboard manager to not work correctly. So that has been um, addressed for the new Quick Accent uh, utility. And then um, uh, they've added more resilient exit code uh, for background processes, which were causing crashes being reported when upgrading power toys or the .NET runtimes. And if you don't know what uh, the .NET runtimes are, those are um, dependencies that are needed for Power Toys to function on both Windows 10 and 11. And Power Toys, in case you're unaware, is a set of utilities for power users to basically uh, streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity and just gives you a whole lot of little utilities that are not bundled by default in both Windows 10 and 11. And you can also download the app from the Microsoft Store for both operating systems. So um, those three issues have been addressed now with version 0.62.1. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.